Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to get a 4K 60Hz when your computer only has display ports and uh, you're, uh, you are trying to connect your TV via HDMI so the first thing that you need obviously is an adapter and I have a passive adapter here and this is a, an active so we are going to start with the passive adapter and see what we get when we connect it to the TV just give me a moment and I'm back and you can see that I have installed the DisplayPort adapter to HDMI and I'm using a very long cable here to connect to the computer I already have a video loaded but let me go to um, to the Intel settings just to see what we get so the problem with the passive adapter is that yes you can get 4K display, 4K um, picture 2160, 3840, but the problem here is that it only does 30p. You cannot go 60, so this is not very smooth. And what you want is 60 because this TV, you can. And we are going to check the TV uh, just to check that this is uh, 30p. There you go, 30p. So you want to do uh, 60 hertz because even this old uh, Samsung TV can do 60 hertz. So what I'm going to do now is to change to the active adapter and see what difference we get. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm using the same port, display, uh, display port to HDMI. Uh, I need to put this back and now if we go to here you can already see that we have 3840 2160 but this time we have 60p and we, we we can select something else if we want but we don't want that we want the maximum and if I check the TV you can see there 60p and very quick just let me just open the system settings 2160, 60 hertz, and the bonus of the uh, this display poor active adapter is, is that if you go to Windows HD Color, you can see that this thing supports HDR, and this says no, but if you put this, it will change all to yes. There you go. But I think I have better settings without HDR, so I'm just going to turn it off. But you can uh, turn it on if you want. And just to prove you that this computer, even though it's a low-end computer, because I have a 7500T i5 CPU, this is a 7th generation. Right now we are in the 12th generation. And this GPU is the integrated graphics, 630, and even with this low-end graphics adapter, it's not an NVIDIA or anything discrete. It's just what, we, what you get for free with the CPU. I'm going to show you that you can do uh, 60 Hertz on YouTube. So this video is already forced to 2160, 60 Hertz, 4K. And you can see that, that this is, is going to be uh, smooth. I mean, I don't have any problems with uh, this. I'm running this TV for like 10 hours a day just as a background noise all the time 21 uh, 4k 60 hertz I'm watching the news there's no audio cutoff um, everything is working as it should and I really recommend this adapter if you have a HDMI port I mean display ports and I saw a lot of reviews and they were saying bad things about these adapters but in my opinion at least this adapter that I got the active one uh, the brand is pluggable. I'll put a screenshot. Uh, it, it's working just fine. I mean, perfectly. So you can see that there's no issues with uh, 4K YouTube. And again, this is a very low end uh, graf graphics, 630. And even the computer, you can see the form factor is the tiny PC. So the, they, they don't have that much power. But it's pretty good uh, if you want to use it as uh, your media device for your TV. 
Uh, thank you for watching and I hope that uh, helps you. All right, bye.